applying high speed sink strobing in the field. Hi, I'm Joel Grimes with the Joel Grimes Academy and we are out here in Tempe, Arizona, really close to Arizona State University. And I have my beautiful model Haley with us and she's standing in a puddle, a mud puddle. Uh, but when you shoot really low angle, it looks really cool. It's kind of like a glassy feel. I'm gonna have Haley tap the water a little bit and that'll give us kind of ripples around her. But we're applying high speed sink. So what I wanna do is I wanna shoot at a super wide aperture on my uh, new Canon EOS R with their new RF 50 millimeter 1.2 lens. So at, I'm gonna shoot at super wide aperture, super shallow depth of field, get this kind of a dreamy feel. She got her white dress, her hair's blowing a little bit. We got jets flying over the top of us. We got a freeway right here. I can't get any better than this. You may not be able to hear me talking, but anyway, so here we go. The reason why I'm using high speed sync is if I was to go and just put this on normal and just blast power through my uh, 24 inch modifier here, it's the Westcott 24 inch beauty dish. I've got a, a, a Godox AD uh, 600 on there. If I didn't use high speed sync, then I would have to be around f11 or maybe get around with f10 uh, aperture which give me lots of depth of field i don't want that i want a shallow depth of field so by using and applying high speed sync i can go and get a really shallow depth of field the fun thing about this is we're now in a really cool age in photography where the high speed syncing concept and technology is getting into bigger strobes more powerful strobes so we've seen this in speed lights for years but when it comes to overpowering the sun, unless you stack a whole bunch of speed lights together, you can't get enough power. So with one strobe, one modifier, and a beautiful model subject out here in this kind of a crazy environment, I can do some fun stuff I could never do before. So let's have at it. I'm gonna get Haley stepping back out underneath the modifier. So the goal is for me to get one killer shot. That's it. That's all I need. Oh, that's perfect. So I am I don't necessarily have to look through the lens. I have my, my viewfinder sitting right here. And so what I'm doing is I'm letting the camera do the focus tracking right there. Do that looking out again. I like that. Kind of just tap in the water. And we have a train going by. We've got airplanes going by. We've got freeways behind us. This is great. All right, this looks crazy beautiful. So when I go and put together a photo shoot, there's a couple things I look for. Number one, I have a great subject. Number two, a really cool background, right? Number three, it's not so much about the wardrobe to me, because I'm, I'm more of a beauty portrait, not a fashion beauty fashion photographer, but a beauty portrait photographer. So once I get good light, a, a good subject, good background, good light, I'm pretty much set. Then all I gotta do is kind of figure out my angles. By going low here with this puddle, so when I walked up here, the first thing I said is, I got a puddle, I don't normally have a puddle here. This is like, uh, we had a lot of rain here, so I got something to play with I wouldn't have, say, a month ago or a month from now. So I'm gonna take advantage of that. So it's all about playing, just experimenting, uh, using the tools that I have right here to make it all happen and then end up with a beautiful photo in the end. All right, so we did a wardrobe change, which I think actually made all the difference in the world. So we went from a white dress to a black dress. So when it comes to a creative decision, it's very difficult what to do. That's the hard part. But we went with a black dress, 
and the results are off the charts amazing. So you get a chance to see those. So this makes your face pop a little bit more. So let's go back to what I said before, which is I'm a portrait photographer that does beauty, but not really fashion. So fashion isn't my thing. So a black dress is perfect for me because that makes your face pop. So Haley did a great job. We had a little bit of issue with the wind blowing the hair around. Sometimes that actually worked, but for the most time it was kind of a nuisance. But uh, all in all, Haley, you did wonderful. So thank you.